Somebody said they going to use every trick in the trade, okay, to win. They ain't going out like that. I don't know who this is, but this is a negative energy I'm picking up on. And every trick in the trade, okay, trick of the trade, the trade that we talking about is spell work, okay? So let's see what the hell, who this is, what the hell, what they talking about. Holy Spirit want us to know about this. I said every trick of the trade, every trick of the trade, this person is going is willing to use so that they will not lose. They are losing now. See, that's that's the thing. That's the other part of it. Yeah, I pop my mouth because they losing. Okay. That's that's the that's the point of it all. So obviously, every these these this trade that you're using, it you're not good at it. You're not skilled in this trade. Queen of Wands, okay? I'm picking up on somebody who think they're a witch, but they witch ain't witching, okay? The witch ain't witching because her life is not a product of all, is not a, her life, actually her life is a direct product and reflection of the spell work that she does because the spell work that she does is to hurt and manipulate other people so she can win at all costs. And God ain't going for that shit. But she said, oh, she ain't giving up, okay? So let's see who we talking about. Holy Spirit, what do you want us to know about this? What is the message here, Holy Spirit? We have the Two of Cups. She gonna use every trick of the trade to ensure that she remains in this Two of Cups connection, even though it's crashing and burning at an expedited rate. She does not care. This energy I'm picking up on. We have the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Like I said, this Two of Cups collaboration that she's in is crashing and burning at an expedited rate. And the other party wants to lay it to rest. Ben wanting to lay it to rest, okay? But this feminine energy, this very toxic karmic energy that I'm picking up on says she going to do what she got to do to keep this man by her side. So what is she trying to do? Exactly, Holy Spirit. Y'all, I, you know, I'm going to stop saying I can't make it up because we already know that. Okay. But I'm trying to tell you now, <laughs> this Queen of Wands is going to do everything she can with this devil card here, even though she needs to give it up. Ben, ben should, should have been gave it up, okay? With this Ten of Wands, she don't care. She done lost, and she's still in this vibe, this devil energy, determined to win. The Queen of Wands then popped back out here. I'm telling you, she a witch. She a bad witch, but that witch, witching ain't witching, okay? It just ain't. All of her schemes and her attempts and her plans, them motherfuckers ain't did shit to go in her favor at the end of the day because she trying to keep this man away from somebody and that shit ain't working. That's just period. And it's making him want to reject her even more. I can't make it up. I had to say it. <laughs> Okay, seven of wands is making him reject her even more. All of these tricks of the trade, that's the seven of swords energy that this queen of wands is in. Even though she should have been, gave it up, y'all, I'm telling y'all, this relationship dead, it's rotten. And this woman's still trying to hold on to the corpse of her connection with this masculine energy, okay? This lover... This love choice that she cannot seem to let go of, this woman is digging her claws, digging her nails into this man's arm, refusing to let go, refusing to allow him to have peace and happiness and have a future with someone else, okay? This king of wands that I'm about to pull out, this is who she thinks this person is somehow a divine counterpart of hers that they have some type of spiritual overflowing cup of energy that God has provided them with 
to be together and be blessed in this world. They is not blessed in the city, though. I'm telling y'all, this Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands is catching hell for trying to tie this King of Wands down. And the fact that they come out as a King and Queen of Wands, these people not together. She think they should be together. This is why she's in this desperate, delusional energy. But it's obvious that this man wants to have a future elsewhere, wants to move on with his life elsewhere, okay? I feel like he's already tried to take action, taking various risks to move on. This woman keep doing shit to try to make this man stay. Now, in a reading I did yesterday, I talked about how some people, you know, they be bullshitting y'all. They be talking about they can't, they got to take care of this and handle that and do this and that and the third before they can get out of the relationships they in. Them people was bullshitting y'all, okay? But this motherfucker right here that I'm picking up on right here, this motherfucker been trying to break free from this queen of wands, trying to get away from her. This man has already decided he don't want to be with her. I'm telling y'all, this man then bounced. I, I'm really picking up that they ain't even together for real. She in her mind. She think they still together is what I'm hearing, y'all. This collaboration has already been laid to rest. She just still thinks she got a shot at making him return to her. In her mind, this is still her man. I am telling y'all what well, I'm picking up. Oh, heavy. This woman, it ain't, I'm telling you, the witch ain't witching. The brain ain't damn beeping right. It's something ain't right here with her because these people not together. She keep doing stuff to antagonize this man, but this man is not in a relationship with her. In her mind, they still in a relationship, but this man then passed judgment on this situation. Judgment is falling right up under Queen of Wands, okay? And she, she ain't got him like she thinks she do in her mind. This man out of there. This man has already balanced the situation as far as he's concerned. He ain't. He is not invested or connected to this person. But she thinks that they still are. She thinks that somehow she can still woo him and pull him in. And I'm telling y'all, this Seven of Swords energy, this trick of the trade energy, that's the spell word. Can I get some energy on this Seven of Swords, Holy Spirit? This Queen of Wands and Seven of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. Some type of action that she's been trying to take, y'all. I mean, she's been putting in work to make this man return to her with the Six of Cups and this Eight of Pentacles. But his back keeps staying turned. He keeps turning his back to her, y'all. It's not working. Like I said, she need to find a new profession. Because the spell work, I feel like it's making her crazy. It's making her love and want him even more. But this man got his back turned to her. This man is looking to the future. He is not invested in this Queen of Wands anymore. And I'm telling y'all, she know, but she don't know. Like, she know, she know he ain't dealing with her because he ain't dealing with her. She ain't that gone now. But it's still this glimmer of hope in the horizon, okay? Like, you see those birds? Oh, maybe he's coming. Maybe that's that energy that, you know, I still got a shot. I still got hope that he'll come back to me. That's really how she think, y'all. This is kind of sad. What's going to be the outcome of this situation? We have the Eight of Wands, but it came out in reverse. <clears throat> she is not going to get the communication that she wanted from him. She is not going to get the forward movement. I literally was just talking about the birds in the background. Like maybe something was coming towards her. That's why she still keep trying to hold on, hoping that he'll turn back around. This man is not going to return to this connection. 
He is he is done. He don't care how much she love him. He don't care how much spell work she do. I feel like this eight of, eight of Wands in reverse is also talking about how her high priestess abilities ain't kicking in like they was. Because she did have this man tied to her. Okay? This man was tied to her for a very significant period of time. But the energy, the communication that she's been sending out to the universe for things to go in her favor is not being received. And also with this high priestess coming out after this eight of wands, this woman ain't getting them spiritual intuitive downloads like she used to. That communication and shit, that shit ain't coming in like it was. And that's because the Holy Spirit and the universe have witnessed this woman use every trick of the trade to try to manipulate someone, to try to change someone's fate, to do something ill against another to work in her favor. And the universe don't like that, okay? The universe not going to keep letting you, 1111, use their tricks of the trade to destroy, manipulate, and alter someone's fate and their destiny. It's not going down like that. So this woman then lost her damn spiritual gifts, but she's steady trying to do spell work on this masculine to get him to come back. The shit ain't working at all. If anything, it's making him reject her more. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth now. That's all it's doing. So, you know, it's really giving mental health issues here. I was picking that up, y'all. Picking that up. Right around in this energy where we had the Knight of Swords in the Judgment, where she's still taking this action, knowing that this man ain't with her at all. The What I was picking up from her in the beginning was her, her mindset that she thinks she's still with this man somehow. This woman really, 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 y'all, really, really, really thinks that she is in a connection with this man, even though they done broke up 1221 on the phone, they don't live together, they not together, none of that. But in her mind, this is still her man. He will always be her man. In her mind, she gonna always be his lady child. I'm just dead ass telling y'all what I pick what I'm picking up on. But it don't matter what what's going on in her, in her mind because the truth of the matter is this situation is connection it's over with. It's over with. You ain't got enough tricks to make this thing come back together, sweetheart. I don't know who this is, but she need to know that. With this Ten of Swords, this man is no longer going to be accepting any offers from this particular energy. This karmic energy, this a karmic, okay? Period. She was sent to teach this masculine a lesson, obviously, about what, who, and not to do and deal with. And he's learned that lesson. He's moved on. When he moving on to a person, place, a thing, that's neither here nor there. He then broke free from this karmic cycle he was in with her, and he transformed. And that's what her purpose was in his life. She ain't getting that, Okay. She's still trying to drudge up illusions, illusions, excuse me, with this seven of cups and this moon card, okay, to make this man come back to her. But that shit ain't working. It's making him reject her more. And I feel like the spell work is starting to scramble her brain. It's scrambled eggs in there because I'm picking up on her delusion. I'm picking up on the fact that it's like, I don't care what no, this her mindset. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. I'm still going to do this dang on magic, okay? The magician that came out right behind the seven of cups in the moon. She going to do every trick of the trade. Look at all them damn tools of alchemy out there. She going to, if she got to damn burn something, cook something, might even use some damn period blood. In that cup, she finna try to do whatever she can. She been trying to do whatever she can. Excuse me. But again, y'all, I don't give a fuck what she do. She gonna be in the nine of swords. That shit is not gonna work. It's gonna make her ass more damn delusional and delirious. 
and it's going to continue to push him further and further away. Okay? This knot of swords is falling. Excuse me. Spiritual belch. I'm trying to tell you. The knot of swords is falling right up under this five of cups. No matter what she do, it's not going to bring him back. The, the universe, I feel like, it has repeatedly communicated to this woman. Your magic don't work here no more, okay? Love don't live here no more for you when it comes to your spiritual and magical abilities. You use them up trying to hurt and manipulate another person's life. And we don't fuck with you like that no more, okay? That's what she been getting from the universe. That's what she know. The results that she receives from the magic she does tells her everything she needs to know. That the will of fortune is no longer in her favor. With this situation and with her magical and spiritual abilities. Okay, that's just what it is. You played out trying to use your gifts, all of them tricks of the trade that you learn and that you have access to. This queen of wands, which energy played out. She did too much. And now none of them tricks ain't working. All they doing is causing more internal conflict, chaos, and drama. Internal and external, I'm hearing. Conflict, chaos, and drama in this queen of wands life. Mm. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I just saw the hermit. I feel like she's going to be forced into some type of Seclusion, dark night of the soul, forced into some type of psychiatric evaluation, something like that here now, because her mind is really just discombobulated, defragmented. This woman really has fixated all of her energy on trying to make this man want her again. But I'm telling y'all, that's over. That's over with. That's dead in the water. That is not going to be revived. Okay, if you look at this rose above this skeleton's head, this deaf angel's head, that shit, it looked burnt and crispy. There is no love between these two people. There, there's this, this Ace of Cups energy that she had for him. But this Ace of Cups energy that she has for him, it's built off a of delusion, y'all. It's built off of her wanting to have her way. Her wanting to have her way. It's something about winning here. She going to win at all costs, no matter what it does to her mentally. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. This woman is, is hell-bent on investing in doing whatever she can do to make this person stay with her. But I'm telling y'all, the spell work that ran her ragged. I'm about to get another date real quick. Because I'm picking up on a lot of delusion. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this person was already in a mental health institution somewhere. And she in there writing down spells and ch chanting shit. Still trying to do that shit from the damn sight ward, Okay. Now, I'm picking that up. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I am picking that up, y'all. So, let's just see. Holy Spirit, can we get some insight? Cut the deck on the strength card. This may be, this person may have Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius in their chart. Okay, but this strength card for me, this strength, I ain't picking up really on no signs because I ain't going to say that. I ain't picked up on no signs in this reading. So, I ain't going to say this person is this or this person is that. But that strength card to me is 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 representing her struggle. The struggle energy I'm picking up off this one. Mental health struggle. Shit got me feeling a little weird. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this one on up. But Holy Spirit, like maybe they got her on some type of medication, y'all. That's making her feel funny, but it still hasn't quelled the madness because the madness that she experiences from all that magic she was doing on this masculine he really a king of cups he not her match she think he was a queen of wands she thought he was her match look we got the six of cups 
she has revisited this connection with this particular energy a number of times. Maybe at one point he thought he was her match and that they were going to have a victory. But this something didn't happen. Something has happened that this woman is... Y'all, I really do think this woman might be in a psych war somewhere. She locked up somewhere. She's up under some type of monitoring and hovering energies on the physical realm, maybe on the spiritual realm. Because she's still trying to do the spell work. This woman is in some type of public institution. Maybe her father or somebody, somebody of authority passed judgment about this woman's mental health state. And I think they knew and already had the knowledge with this high priestess card that this woman mind wasn't right. This emperor energy is giving father figure Someone who had the authority to make this decision regarding this individual that she needed to get some mental health professional help. Whoever this emperor is, he had the authority to make this decision. But he already knew that this person had some issues already. With this high priestess to the seven of cups, this man, I feel like he already knew this woman may have also been messing in spiritual manipulation. We have the Nine of Swords. Y'all can't tell me that this woman ain't in some type of mental health institution here. She is. Okay? Somebody had to say, somebody had to sign her in. I'm getting that. Because whatever she was doing, look, we got the Three of Pentacles. A light was shined down on the actions that she was taking against this King of Wands. And I'm talking about magic. And I'm also talking about some shit happening on the outside realm. Okay? On the physical realm. Excuse me. Because, you know, it's a, it's a lot of conflict going on in the inside of this woman. But it's also a lot of conflict going on on the outside around this woman. Conflict that she's created. Okay, and someone stepped in on this situation because this woman would not leave this man alone. This woman really is obsessed with this man and she really thinks that this is her man no matter what. No matter what. It's, it's, it was giving psychotic. It's some kind of psychosis I issue here. Okay. So somebody that stepped in and, and put this woman where she needs to be to get the mental health she needs. But she is still trying to do this spell work from her little cell. Look, we got the chariot. She is still trying to rush forward, push forward, and do things to stop this king of wands from having success in his life elsewhere. Okay? What's going to be the outcome of this, Holy Spirit? What is anything else you want us to know about this? We have the sun. This man is going to push through no matter what, child. Hell. He may be a Leo. He, now, he may be a have Leo in his chart. Now, I did just hear that. So, but this man is going to have a rebirth. He's going to have a new start. He's going to have set success in whatever direction he goes in. This woman no longer has any control over his life. I do feel like in the beginning, that spell work was working some now. But that shit then wore off because God... And the universe saw the offers that this woman was making. They saw what she was doing with her spiritual gifts and abilities to keep this man trapped and tied to her. And they just weren't with it anymore. Okay? They're, they're not going to allow this woman to... This man that came out and is a few kings himself, 
He may even have be a divine masculine, a chosen one of some kind a star seed, something here. He is being spiritually protected by the universe. Just know that, okay? He is one of them in some way, shape, or form. And this may also be why her karma is so, so just treacherous. Because this woman, out of her mind, she, got, she trying to get her mind right. They trying to help her get her mind right, rather, because she can't help herself get her mind right. She's too far gone from all of this action that she took, hoping to get positive results, but it has caused destruction in her life instead. And this man is moving on to a bright future elsewhere. That's all I'm getting from this chariot and sun card. Like, ooh, child. And she she is in struggle mode, okay? And the way it came out, it low-key almost could be taken in reverse. That she can't hold on no more. That she's not mentally capable of making the right decisions that are going to affect her life in a positive way. The strength in reverse is falling right up under the five of pentacles, y'all. This woman really may have had some kind of psychotic breakdown. And I hope that she do get better. I hope that whatever it is that's got her mind mushed, that God will build it back up. He'll solid, He'll solidify that brain mat matter again. Because I was picking up on scrambled eggs for brains at this point. It's all that magic, though. You can't keep doing magic on people and not think that shit going to eventually come back on you. And everything that you sent out to that person, it ain't no fucking telling how that shit is going to affect you. Especially if you meant for it to, because I'm getting up, I'm picking up on mind control spells, come to me spells, things she did to keep him spiritually tied to her. So now all that shit is like, she's, she's, she's obsessed with him. She wanted him to be obsessed with her, but, but she's obsessed with him. She can't stop thinking about him. It's done ran her crazy. Okay. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know here? Any final messages? We have the Six of Pentacles. She is, has lost it because she can no longer make this man give to her nor receive anything from her. Okay? And I'm talking about that brain. It's, it's, it's a severe mental health battle going on with this Queen of Wands right now, okay? That's why everybody, you know, people love to say whatever about magic, but you, you know, to each his own, I'm going to say that. But everybody ain't mentally able to handle the ramifications of messing with magic and spell work, Okay? If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not spiritually inclined to do what you're doing, if you're doing what you're doing to hurt and harm others, that shit going to come back on you. And you cannot control the karma that you receive as a result of the magic and the spell work that you send towards others. The universe is in control of that. God is in control of that. And I'm telling y'all, this woman is going through some severe psychotic mental health issues as a result of her trying to keep this masculine tied to her and be in a relationship with her. All them tricks of the trade that she used to hold this man to her has ran her crazy, okay? And I'm dropping the mic on that. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Don't forget to hit that like button. Because you better hit, than hit that like button now, y'all. Y'all got to show me the love. Continue to show me the love. I need it. I got to have it. Because it be a lot. The sun and stuff I be picking up on. It's a lot to get up here to this table and do what I'm doing. So just taking one second to push that thumbs up button. You don't know how much that means to me. And it does show appreciation for what I'm trying to do the messages I'm trying to bring to help people get the insight and clarification that they need to get their life, okay? So please, please hit that like button, okay? And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.